Hi folks, my name is Ms. Stymack. I'm one of the counselors at Jones and I'm going to talk to you today about our remote learning academic behavior checklist. So now that we've made it through quarter one, we want to discuss some positive academic behaviors um, and how students might act on them. Um, so we use this um, academic behavior checklist that's been adapted for remote learning. We use this as a guideline to assess student work habits um, when it comes to setting academic goals. Okay, so there's a couple different categories that I'm going to talk through. So one, during class. If you're struggling, it's helpful to know how you're engaging in the classroom. Um, are you on time? Do you have all of your materials? If you're not on time and if you don't have everything that you need, how might that affect your performance in that class? Um, are you taking notes? Are you participating? If you're are you asking questions? If you're not participating, if you're not asking questions, what are the obstacles to that? And how might we um, work with you uh, to help support a little bit more participation? Um, are, you, are you turning in all of your assignments, including missing assignments? Teachers have been super flexible this year when it comes to missing assignments and remote learning. So do you know what you need to do? Um, and if you don't, have you asked your teacher? Something super important that I want to drive home right here is that the first person students should be talking to when they're struggling in a class is their teacher. OK, your teacher knows the content. Your teacher knows what you've been doing. Your teacher is best positioned to help you figure out what's going on. Um, if you are having an issue connecting with your teacher or you feel like you need extra support, you can always reach out to your counselor. Then during lunch, ACK Lab and Eagle Days, um, are you making the most of your school day? Now, of course, we want students to have time in their day to get away from academics and their screens to recharge. But the first question counselors almost always ask when students are struggling is, what are you doing in ACK Lab? Um, because ACK Lab and Eagle Days are really great times to check in with teachers and counselors as well as getting your work done so you have some free time outside of that. Um, so during lunch, ACK Lab or Eagle Days, are you scheduling meetings with your counselor to talk about academic goals or any personal social issues that are interfering with academics? Are you meeting with your teachers to ask questions and review class content? And are you taking breaks from your screens? Okay, we really want you folks, especially during lunch, since lunch is only about 45 minutes each day, we really want you to be able to take advantage of some time away from the computer screen screens. Um, and then what are you doing outside of the school day? Okay. Um, are you emailing your teacher with questions if you don't understand? Are you checking your grades and your assignments? Um, it's definitely important to keep an eye on your grades so you know where you stand, but we definitely caution against overchecking, right? Obsessively checking um, when grades go in because this can be pretty detrimental as well. Um, the assignments are super important. I know that y'all are in seven different Google Classrooms and that can be complicated. So checking at the end of each day to make sure you know what you need to do and when it's due can be really helpful. Um, what does your homework space look like? What does your study space look like? I know that there are some very real constraints for folks now that we're home all the time. Um, you might be sharing with siblings, you might be sharing with parents or other family members. Um, so if that is something that is a struggle for you, if that's been difficult, if it's been distracting, reach out to your counselor. We can brainstorm some ideas with you on how you might make a quiet space to study. Um, are you sleeping enough? Are you getting eight hours of sleep a night? Um, are you talking to your parents and guardians about your grades or your academic goals? We really want everyone to be on the same page. And then finally, are you participating in self-care activities? Are you intentionally doing things that make you feel good um, to manage your stress around school. Um, and actually in our lesson later this week, or next week, I should say, um, we're actually going to create self-care goals with actionable steps that you folks can take to achieve those goals. So this is the remote learning academic behavior checklist. As you've looked through this, we're actually gonna do this in lesson together. Um, so we really want you to be reflecting what of these academic behaviors are you acting on and how is that impacting your academics? Is there a class where things are going really well? Do you find that you're doing some of many of these things in that class? Um, for some of these things that you have not tried or you're not doing, what are the obstacles? What is preventing you from taking some of these steps in order to um, make a change in your academics? Where do you want to change? What things would you like to change and how are you going to go about that. Um, 
So this is definitely a great tool to use. We will talk about this in classroom. Y'all will actually fill it out for us in seminar. Um, but just keep this in mind as a resource. We'll post one in Google Classroom so you have access to it because this can be super helpful for you as you try to navigate through the rest of quarter two, um, second semester, and then the rest of high school.